Hi, my name is Shannon Barkey, and I am a three-time Olympian, two-time Olympic medalist in the sport of freestyle mogul skiing. Competing on the U.S. ski team for 12 years, and I was lucky enough to win a silver medal here in Deer Valley on the Run Champion in 2002, and then also bring home a bronze medal in Vancouver in 2010. And then I retired. Called it good. <laughs> I'm Hannah Carney. I'm a three-time Olympian in the sport of mogul skiing. I'm a gold and bronze medalist in the Olympic Games. I won 46 World Cups in my 13-year career on the U.S. ski team. I am now retired, skiing the slopes of Utah and studying at Westminster University where I will graduate with a marketing degree this May. When I was 12, uh, Ray DeVry, who's the coach of the Squaw Valley Freestyle team, <laughs> He approached my family, he's like, why don't you come out and join uh, the Squaw Valley Freestyle team? And I was like, there's no way. Moguls are the things that I avoid. Nobody wants to ski those things, those aren't fun. Um, but after a couple months uh, you know, of being persistent, I came out, I was like, all right, I'll try this stupid sport of mogul skiing. And I just fell in love with it. It just, it was this freedom that I never had. And you know, a hundred friends, all of a sudden that we all love the same thing and we like to be on the mountain together. And I got to miss school at noon, so it was perfect. The first time I saw the Olympics on TV are like the 94 Olympics and watching them in the living room with my brother forcing him to pair his figure skate with me set me on my Olympic journey. I had no idea what sport I was going to be good at, but I knew that I wanted to go to the Olympic, ga the Olympic Games. I wanted to be a part of the Olympics because it looked awesome. Walking into the opening ceremonies, just to see that crowd and to hear the roar, I, you, couldn't even, you couldn't even talk to the people next to you because it was so loud. And that spirit that was in that stadium, it just, it lifted me beyond anything that I ever thought was possible. In 2002, I was 15 years old, and I got a phone call from the US ski team coaches. And they said, we've identified you as someone who could possibly be good in the future. We'd like you to come forerun the Olympic Games and check out what it's all about. So I packed my ski bag and came out and got to watch my first international level competition. I watched Shannon Barkey win a silver medal, and I realized that with a little bit of training, I thought that I could make the Olympic Games. And a month later, with a new helicopter that I learned after realizing that's what it was gonna to take to make the US ski team, I qualified for the US ski team. Competing in the 2002 Olympics was incredible. Once you had the opportunity and the honor to compete for your country, in your home country, you really realize how special that is. To walk in last at the opening ceremonies as Team USA and just know that 99.99% you know, .99 of those fans are American, and then when you're competing here on Champion and you know that 99% of those fans are American, it's just, it's this feeling of pride and, and just love and passion and enthusiasm that I didn't know that I could have in the sport of skiing. When I was 15 years old and got to forerun the 2002 Olympics, I distinctly remember the moment that I came around the corner at the top of the Champion course at Deer Valley and I saw the grandstand set up. And I'd never imagined that that many people would come to watch mogul skiing. I was the first athlete down the course on the day of the Olympic Games um, and on the first day of the 2002 Olympics, which now is such an honor to think that um, I got to be that person. The course here at Deer Valley is the best in the world. And it's not just because the moguls are almost perfect and the jumps are really good and the course is the longest, steepest course. It really comes from the people. I mean, we've had people that have volunteered here since I joined the team when I was 18, and they still volunteer here. I got to forerun the 2002 Olympics here at Deer Valley, and then I competed on the champion course 21 more times over my World Cup career. And I know for a fact that it's the favorite stop on the World Cup tour for athletes from all countries. Utah is the best place to be an athlete, specifically a ski or snowboard athlete. The mountains that you get to train on here, all in your backyard, the access to the airport when you're traveling on the World Cup Tour is priceless. So now um, I work as a ski champion for Deer Valley, and I have also launched uh, my new company called Team Empower Hour. So lots going on. I'm also the mom of a four and a half year, uh, four and a half year old little girl, Zoe. So my plate is full. I'm always juggling, but I love life and it's awesome.